practices with regard to finite element modeling dictates quality inputs. Verifying your inputs are correct is an instrumental part of an FEA practitioner's responsibilities. One often overlooked diagnostic method is the NX-NASTRAN grid point weight generator. Its 30 lines of output provide valuable data on your model's mass and inertia properties. Requesting this output is simply a matter of including a parameter in the NX-NASTRAN input file. The data can be viewed from the FO6 file in any decent text editor. If we search for W space E space I, we can see the section of the output we're interested in. A faster way of doing this is with a simple Perl script. We have some simple scripts for processing various engineering data available for free at our website. Now that we've extracted the data out of the file, let's describe in more detail the meaning of each term. The grid point weight generator data is divided into six discrete sections. The rigid body mass properties, or matrix MO, which we'll describe in more detail later. A transformation matrix from the principal mass axes to the basic direction. Principal mass axes are axes that have no coupling between the translational mass components. For real structures, there is no coupling in the translational mass terms in the inertia matrix. However, this condition can occur in your mathematical model with inconsistent scalar masses. If the S matrix is not unity, verify the mass distribution in your model is correct. The center of gravity relative to the reference point in the principal mass axes system. This is perhaps the most useful and commonly used section of the output and we will discuss it more later on. The moments of inertia with respect to the principal mass axes for the CG, this is the inertia matrix of the system about the center of gravity. The principal moments of inertia, which by definition do not have any off-axis terms, and the transformation matrix relating the system moments of inertia about the CG to the principal moments of inertia. The math here is to take the Q transpose multiplied by IS times Q to find the IQ matrix from step 5. The first matrix presented is the rigid body mass properties matrix, or MO, and provides a wealth of mostly useless data. The format of the matrix is shown, where M is the mass of the system, X, Y, and Z are the distances to the center of gravity, and the I subscript terms are inertia terms. The mass, CG, and inertia values are shown in part 3 and part 5 of the total grid point weight generator output. The third section of the output is the mass and center of gravity summary table. It is in an odd format because NASTRAN does not strictly require that the mass for each direction be the same. This creates a situation where the CG is not a unique location, but must be computed separately for each direction. If the mass is the same in each direction, there is in fact a unique center of gravity. For equal directional mass, the center of gravity values are identified in rectangular boxes. So that is a summary of what's in the grid point weight generator table, and some tips on how to use it to better understand your NX-NASTRAN finite element model. I'd like to give a special thanks to John Zins for his original inspiration on this topic back in 2002 at Space Systems Laurel. And for additional references on the grid point weight generator table, please read the NX NASTRAN 7 Basic Dynamics Analysis User's Guide, Appendix J, as well as the NASA Contractor Report 4675 by Alan Stockwell, a verification procedure for MS NASTRAN finite element models. Thank you.